Oh, so impressed you should fish. Oh, thank you, Olivia the Ostrich. I had no idea you could scat like that. Well, you know, I grew up in Yonkers, the underwater part, and since Ella Fitzgerald was a Yonkers girl, I grew up reading all about her and listening to her music. Oh, so you imitated her and learned how to scat? That's right. She is quite the inspiration, isn't she? Oh, I agree, and I thank you, Fuchsia, for bringing this book for us to read. You're welcome. Thank you for reading it. Ba 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 ba. Who do do ba ba? Oh, I better work on that. Yes, well, you know, scatting it takes a little effort. Ella Fitzgerald was huge with making amazing sounds with her voice. Hit records, yes. Big band, yes. But here, since this is little people, big dreams, we're not going to meet Ella as a grown-up right away. We're going to meet her when she was just a kid. Like who? Like you. That's right, because you already have your dreams. You know them. She already had her dreams. Little Ella grew up in Yonkers, New York, not the underwater part like Fuchsia. She lived there with her mother, her stepfather, and her sister, and she had a beautiful voice, and she loved to sing jazz. Let's see, what is she playing on that beautiful old-timey record player which Storyteller wishes he had? A song by the Boswell sisters called When I Grow Too Old to Dream, which is never, never too old to dream, are we? But one day, tragedy struck. Her mother died suddenly in a car accident. Ella was heartbroken. Oh, that is a grade A tragedy. So Ella went to live with her aunt, but she didn't like her new life. She started skipping school and got herself into trouble, so she was sent to a strict school as punishment. And at that school, she was treated very badly. So one day, she ran away. Look at that. See the cubby where the shoes are? Everybody's off napping. Her shoes, Ella's shoes are gone in her hands. She's sneaking off in her sock feet. Where'd she go? Oh, she went to the streets of Harlem, where Ella made a living singing and dancing on the corners. The streets of New York were her first stages. Look at that. And the puppies loved her, and the cats definitely purred for her. And even the mouse was all squeaking for her, and the birds were tweeting about her. And the humans were leaving some money in the hat, so this poor kid could, well, eat. One night... She entered a competition to perform on a real stage, though. And now you can see Ella's growing up, getting a little bit bigger. And this competition was at one of the most famous theaters in New York City. Oh, my gosh. Ella was so nervous. But she dazzled the crowd with her sweet, tuneful voice. And what did she win? First prize. Oh, yeah. That raw talent was showing. That night... Ella was so excited. She couldn't even sleep. She imagined herself singing on an even bigger stage, accompanied by her very own orchestra. That's right. If you're going to dream, dream big. <gasps> and the dream came true. It wasn't long before big band leader Chick Webb, hey Chick, offered Ella her first singing job. Well, obviously he heard her and knew a good thing when he heard it. So together they traveled all over the country performing in jazz clubs and Ella's career was taken off. There they are in the studio. There they are on their tour bus on the road. And there's a picture of her suitcase with the stickers of Nevada and Florida. So they're getting all over the country. And here she is by a white only sign. She is singing during segregation. That's the time when black and white people were kept in separate areas for everything and here she is even though she is a black artist she's singing in white only clubs and that's how it was back then it wouldn't stay that way during her lifetime but that's how it was when she started out ella never sang a song the same way twice that's too boring she turned somersaults with her voice and learned to imitate every instrument in the band that's right that's right. She sounded like a person, but she could sound like a saxophone. She could sound like a drum. She could sound like a trumpet. What? She used her songs to express how she felt and made up new sounds on the spot. Sometimes she invented new words like dooby 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 
Oh, that's so fun. We can invent words. You see? Fun, right? She also sang slow songs as sweet as lullabies. Her velvety voice wrapped around the audience like a soothing, smooth blanket. That kind of a voice that's just dripping with honey. Now, eventually, Ella decided it was time to leave the band and go solo. All the jazz greats wanted to perform with her. The telephone didn't stop ringing. Ring, 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 ring. All the phones ring. Wow, that's a lot of phones and they're all ringing for Ella. And look at this. It looks like she's in New York City on a high rise. Very nice. Now, Ella, she tried every musical style. Remember, her voice is so versatile, she can make so many different kinds of sounds. So, of course, she has the ability to try every musical style from bop to swing. Her voice growled and swooped and soared. She mastered show tunes, pop, opera, and the blues, taking her music to new places until the day she retired. So, we have so many kinds of album covers of hers here. She's doing Gershwin music here, the complete works, uh, the complete Ella Fitzgerald songbook and Ella and Louis, that must be Louis Armstrong. And here's another album, Sunshine of Your Love, the complete Ella in Berlin. Uh, that's Mac. You see Mac? That's one of her big hits, Mac the Knife. And here's a one o'clock jump with Count Basie and Joe Williams. I mean, the, all the greats of the day. All the big musicians you can imagine today, back then all the big musicians wanted to collab with her. And that's how little Ella became the first lady of song. As she always said, it isn't where you came from, it's where you're going that counts. So there's the little dreamer and that's grown up Ella having achieved so many of her dreams. Oh, and look at this, look at this. We have actual Ella photos, 1930, 1938, 1940, 1965. She ended up singing to integrated clubs, by the way. She didn't always sing to only whites only or black only clubs. And oh, and this is the series of all the, all the little people with big dreams. Let's see, we've read Frida, we've read Amelia, Maya, great stories. And I hope that you enjoyed it. Well, Fuchsia, I mean, this was for all for you, so I'm, I'm hoping that you loved it. Oh, did I love it? Did we love it? What do you think, Fuchsia Fish? Heaven, I'm in heaven. And my heart beats so that I can hardly seek. And I seem to find the happiness I seek. When we're out together, dancing cheek to cheek. Actually, I prefer the version where it's fin to fin. It's all the rage and the water. Oh, I can imagine. Just another Ella Fitzgerald hit. That's all. My girl from Yonkers. And the water portion is mine. Above water portion is hers. Yes, yes. Just like the air part of London is mine. Well, I really enjoyed your scatting. Thank you. Let's go scat some more. I think you have some potential. You think so? I would love that part about making up some words. Oh, I think I need some practice. That's okay. You got an expert in me. Well, we're going to go practice our scatting. See you next time, kid. Yes, on kid time, scatty time. Oh, did you see what I did there? You made up a word. Very nice. <laughs>